good in here. Hari Om and good evening everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Hari Om and good evening everyone. This is uh, Vipin Sharma on behalf of uh, Sahodaya, Patna Sahodaya and Jamshedpur Sahodaya. Am, am I sure my screen is visible? Yes, please put in the chat box. Screen is visible? Is my screen visible? Yes, thank you Anuradha. Okay, Hari Om. And good evening, everyone. Before I begin, I would like to do a prayer as usual, definitely. Wherever you are, you can close your eyes and listen to the prayer. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Bhunattu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasvinavaditamastu Mavidvishavahai Om Shanti 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 Hi Hari Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om Welcome again to the session Art Integrated Learning. Before I begin Art Integrated Learning, I would like to say that the children are yeah, Hari Om, the cream of our generation. They are the rulers and makers of tomorrow. Upon them, depends the future of our nation and the safety of our culture and tradition, said Swami Chinmananda Ji. So let us give them education that makes them grow. You know, today we are going to handle the topic art integration. You know, the National Education Policy 2020 emphasizes the importance of innovative teaching methods with a specific mention of art integration as a transformative pedagogy. Art integration nurtures creativity, encourages students to explore innovative ideas, express themselves, and think out of the box. If you ask, NEP 2020 is, uh, you know, a uh, very, very important move in the field of education. See, the, this national education policy, when we talk about the national education, the word national is very important because education sets the benchmark for a nation for a high quality education that will shape the future of the society. And this art integrated education definitely nurtures the creativity. You know, I can say it is a transformative pedagogy. This is a transformative pedagogy that talks about teaching learning model, which is based on learning through the arts and with the arts. This is what we are going to talk today. So today I am going to talk about introduction. I already have given aim of education, objectives, meaning of art integration, process of art integration, learning outcomes, benefits and importance, creativity in classrooms, strategies, and role of teachers. Finally, we'll conclude what is art integration, what is art integrated learning, what is art integrated education. Now, aim of education. Before I move further, definitely I would like to dwell upon the primary aim of education. It is not to enable students to do well in school, but to help them do well in lives they lead outside the school. It's to understand the world around us and the world within us. I tell you, this art integrated learning 
definitely focuses on the overall holistic development of students. It is not what you do for children, but what you have taught them to do for themselves that will make them successful human being. Successful human being, that is, touch the sky. They can do wonders. Yes. Now, objectives of uh, this session. To, have, to create awareness about multidimensional growth of children. I tell you, NCF 2005 has suggested art as a subject covering all major four spheres like music, dance, visual arts, and theater at all stages. Integration of art with education at all stages broadens the mind and the students and enables them to see the multidisciplinary links. So art, all the skills through arts are developed. How? Again, I'll be talking about. So it is to create awareness about multidimensional growth, physical, intellectual, cultural, moral, emotional, aesthetic, scientific, all the aspects. And that is what NEP 2020 speaks about uh, holistic development. I think many of you are much aware of this, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> vision and mission of NEP 2020. So basically, now this session is going to focus on how we can go for the overall development of students by integrating art into curriculum. You know, in the classes, extremely a simple action, songs, marching songs, whatever you can say, should be, in, you know, introduced so that they develop aesthetically. Believe me, we all the schools, I'm not going out of the way, the fact I'm talking about, we all the schools talk about the results and what the, how many doctors, how many engineers the schools are producing. Fine, good, all said and done. But at the same time, this NEP 2020 speaks about how the life can be strengthened. See, it not only speaks of academic excellence, it speaks of how values to be inculcated. And there is no better example than art integration. So to strengthen communication, language, numeracy skills using art integration will definitely enhance the holistic development. To facilitate development of socio-emotional competencies alongside cognitive skills supporting holistic personal growth. In a nutshell, art integration is very, very important. It's a, please remember the keyword. Art integration is a transformative pedagogy. It changes the mindset. I'll talk it about a little later in a few further slides. What is the difference between art and art integration and art-based education? Virendra, you please check your device as well. Okay. Now, objectives. To smoothen the path of for synthesis of knowledge across different themes, subjects, and disciplines with an understanding of interdisciplinary connection through AIL, how the, all the subjects are interrelated, that is important. To promote inclusive practices rooted in respect, care, empathy, compassion. To develop understanding and how to simplify complex concepts through art. That also I'll be talking about, basically, I'm talking about the objectives, okay? So definitely the art integrated learning will enhance the creativity in children. Enable integration of art in various aspects of life. At foundational stage, develop observation, thinking skills, exploration, exp and spontaneous expression. Here, I would like to suggest that at all the four stages that I'll be talking, okay, at all the four stages, let us develop the various, you know, uh, skills of children, that how they develop. Observation is very, very important. Let them observe how to develop thinking skill, tapping thinking. Now, no, uh, NEP also says no rote learning. So when we talk about no rote learning, how thinking skills can be tapped, exploration and spontaneous expression. Let us make learning joyful while developing their social skills and sensitivity. In a nutshell, art integrated learning develops all these. Experience or experience of joy and inquisitiveness. Enhance the cognitive process of learning through guided observation and creative 
exploration. These are the basic accepts uh, of today's session. Encourage them to be aware of the environment. Meaning of AIL. Uh, uh, you know, what is art? Very, very important. Before I talk about, you know, uh, art is a creative expression of an individual. Can be verbal, written, or enactment. This is very, very important. What is art? Art is a creative expression. Okay, see, now you can see the slides here towards my right. This is also, you know, you can connect it to the art and how the four pieces of chalks, how colorful they are, why are they, what is the dust all over, what are the uses, it all depends on the teacher. We need to be more creative. So, it has to grow. Art is what I want to say that art is a creative expression of an individual. It can be verbal or written. Okay. Through art integration, students can use ways of dancing, acting, writing, speaking, whatever. Art integration is an example of concept-based teaching. Big ideas are the focus of connections between art form and another area of study. I tell you, the key of art integration <clears throat> is music to teach music, drama, visual arts, along with subject area. And let us make learning joyful. So, meaning of art, again, coming back to the topic, meaning of art. So, as I said, it is a creative expression of an individual, can be verbal, can be written or enactment. So, when we think of visual arts, we think of something tangible like drawing, painting, sculpture, okay, and, uh, you know, uh, can be de print, design or collage. So, the visual arts are the performing arts. So, this is the visual art. Visual art was something all we have mentioned. Another is performing art. So, art has, remember, art has two aspects. Very good evening, Alice. Good evening to all. Okay. So, it has two aspects. Visual art and performing. Visual arts like painting and all and performing art that includes something that can be viewed, heard or performed such as music, recital, a film, drama or a dance recital. So, two aspects. Okay, visual art, this is art. Now, the second aspect is art education. Art education is a process and the art is the product. Art education process art is the process that encourages sensory exploration, provides a platform and idea. You know, art education is more broad term, inclusive of all the processes by which children are guided to express themselves. Art-based education. That's in a nutshell. Art-based education, how art can be a medium of, uh, you know, learning. That is important. It would be better to expand the two terms using arts as education in arts and arts in education. Education in arts, that is what is art education. And arts in education is, in, you know, art integrated education. Got it? So, learning through art integration, that is, that yes, that is the, uh, you know, uh, art in education. So, it is very, very important that art-based education develops inquiry-based skills. It encourages like non-verbal expressions to bring forth, be it in the form of a song, painting, or performance, whatever. But art-based is very, very important. You know, artistic development in children go through a more or less predictable pattern from the earliest scribbling to colors and skillful expressions. So, it is important. Now, meaning of art, this again coming to the topic, meaning of art integration. Our integration of art means how you can uh, weave art into education. Again, I repeat here, there are two things, art education and art-based education. Okay, art in education and art through, uh, I mean education through arts. Again, please remember the keywords, okay? The keyword education in arts, education in art, that is art education and arts in education, that is integrated approach for education. At foundational level, 90% of the teaching learning activities can come from various forms of art visual, already I spoke about. The curricular goals, pedagogical framework and learning outcomes to be achieved at this stage. I tell you, when a child is born, a sound. Subrata, please check your device. Am I audible to all? Please put in the chat box. If one or two, please check your device. Am I audible to all? Maximum? Yes. 
थैंक यू कमला थैंक यू चंद्रा माधुरी रहना सतीश और गुड थैंक्स अलॉर्ड दीपक ओके नो सो हार्ट थैंक यू सो मच आज सो दो आर नॉट एबल टू गेट मी प्लीज टू ऑप्शन नंबर वन चेक यूर डिवाइस नंबर थ्रू कीप ऑन वॉचिंग ब्राउजिंग द यू नो स्लाइड्स आई हैव मैंशन ट्राइड एवरीथिंग इन द स्लाइड्स एज वेल ओके द करिकुलर गोल्स पेडागोजिकल फ्रेमवर्क एंड लर्निंग आउटकम्स टू बी अचीव एट दिस स्टेज फाउंडेशनल सो दिस दिस डेफिनेशन इज गिवेन बाई इन टू एन ई पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी आर्ट एजुक एजुकेशन इज अ क्रॉस करिकुलर पेडागोजिकल अप्रोच दैट यूटिलाइजेज वेरियस फॉर्म्स ऑफ आर्ट एंड कल्चर एज द बेसिस ऑफ लर्निंग आर्ट इंटीग्रेटेड एजुकेशन विल बी इम्बेडेड इन द क्लासरूम ट्रांजेक्शन हाउ आई बी टॉकिंग थ्रू द स्लाइड्स विथ लेटर not only for creating joyful classrooms but also for imbibing the indian ethos through teaching and learning process at every step okay this is specified by nep 2020 well, now you can ask me what is cross curricular pedagogical approach means it is not only a period allotted for art education no how art to be embedded in various subject it can be embedded in mathematics hindi english languages i should say science all all over it can be embedded no see this you must have been uh, uh, thanks rajini ragini this you must have been uh, aware of this four stages foundational nursery to five preparatory okay that is uh, three four five three years and six seven eight and then plus two but believe me every stage has a different need okay is this you can think of age development plan thanks for my three to five years create an environment of affection tenderness concern for other living beings i can give a very simple example you can see this leaf over here hmm? tell the children look into this think of a poem they will write tell them to think of the sky they will write tell them to think what comes to their mind they will do it okay only a teacher needs to tap the creativity of children tap the thought process of children that is why nep 2020 speaks about competency based learning away from rote learning no more rote learning so let us give environment of love to the children appreciation for good touch the children tell them that you have loved them 5 to 10 years right time for the higher nobler values and when they go to 11 onwards in that case keep on integrating arts into through their subjects no at foundational stage that is play activity based discovery based learning languages numbers counting colors shapes i am sure wherever the schools are primary there are various teaching aids in the schools that is wonderful work it is really good okay so now i will tell you art education is experience provided by the teacher so play give them activities okay and let them enjoy learning the let the child come loving the school if i ask you a question which is the most awaited period in school by the students they will say ma'am art ma'am games period ma'am's art period ma'am music period then the fourth they may say ma'am library period right why because they are the teachers inculcate not only value system but they create a light atmosphere in the class they give environment in the classroom that is why they are very very happy so similarly through art art is very you know uh, important means of expression that gives the aesthetic outlook to the children and that touches the heart of students so right from the fundamental stage we should not give only a two art period fine give them art period as already i said remember that art education in art very good give them two periods three periods as per the school timings or syllabus whatever but when we talk about art in education that is very very important okay there how it can be embedded into the studies that is important okay you know when we have even a drawing class okay we they can focus on team work and cooperation tell them just okay process of art integration art as i said art is creative expression verbal written in the art integrated learning is a teaching learning model that nurtures creativity and what is creativity it is associated with the divine powers 
that is why art is associated with the divine don't you feel when you see an artist oh my god what a piece of art see but here that is okay but everybody cannot be artist but through arts with the arts we can add value addition to the subjects in mathematics also we can do that languages also we can do that how i'll come across the slides and explain it so important is based on our, what is art integration that is learning through the arts learning with the arts values process over product okay process is the adopted by the teacher and who is the product child is the product final product who has developed a good human being so a key to understanding concepts within any subjects okay the process of observation exploration expression is vital i tell you i'll give an example we should always keep in mind that when a child joins the school he is not he or she is not coming as a clean slate they have uh, experiences from a home locality village and have observed various things a very simple example now tell the children class 1 or 2 or whatever okay tell them to go outside look at the sky okay and tell them okay what have you seen outside come and write some of them may write sky looks like an elephant oh my god some say no no it looks like a pigeon no no it looks like a human being so everybody has different observations so let us tell the child to observe things let him explain experiment and express okay some may say ma'am it's going to be you know dark cloud maybe it's going to rain the child knows when the clouds are dark it will rain so let us adopt very clearly the process of observation exploration then they should experiment let him write and express himself not only cloud let him go to the field let him go to the market let him go anywhere tell them okay come and draw the picture of mela what you have seen in the fair mela dekha apne aap uske picture lagaiye then tell him okay explain it my by in a nutshell i want to say that let us all teachers should make children observe things okay again i have various examples i'll be quoting child and art a child draws paints and creates an expression of total self he expresses directly without fear they become engrossed in the work that the product shows the art of each child reflects its process of development they are fourth cognitive affective psychomotor and emotional although at various stages it differs okay when the child reflects the process of art his art capacity okay as i said art has two types you know visual art and performing art it can be anything tell him to perform okay he will keep thinking of dance steps tell him to perform in the field they will keep think on they will keep thinking of various aspects okay that develop the affinity with the school affinity with the teachers affinity with the students so here i am not talking only about drawing i am talking about visual art and performing art okay psychomotor psych this is very very important and emotional development is above all so a child and art when we talk about child and art the most important is that how the child is you know uh, engrossed in the uh, painting when a child draws paints or creates an expression of total self he observes things experiences and right okay art of the art of you know and let us teach each child to reflect himself usko boliye aap apne aap ko bataiye because as the child grows so does the art see whatever we are teaching in the primary section when the child grows he keep on developing his various skills okay so artistic development in children go through a more or less in a different ways that is important okay so now uh, next as the child grows so the art art education is the experience provided by the teacher here the role of teacher is important don't simply tell him you dry whatever okay thanks sudhir tell him to give him some guidelines the child needs some guidelines and let him think or sometimes let the child experience okay express through various modes maybe music maybe dance maybe drawing i'll give an example okay uh, in the classroom i take pick up one topic okay and make four groups in the classroom let one group enact 
one group draw one group write the poem one group tell the story maybe in the class five and six whatever you can see you have to plan out okay and four groups will come out differently that is art based education if a child writes a poem oh my god very good let them think it can be collaborative first let them pin up their own ideas okay so uh, let let the child be given freedom to express explore and enjoy that is important okay so in example i have given you can think of plenty of example take them to the play field again put them into fourth groups give them a topic show them the field okay show them the garden and tell them to express some of them to draw the garden some of them to you know write a poem on the garden some of them to write experience of watching the petals of the flower see all this we have to think of various aspects in fact every part is a learning robinson says creativity is imaginative process so let us tap the imagination of the child let him see the petals let him write a poem let him write two lines let him write a story let him write an expression whatever see so it all up to us that how we guide the children so art and you know education art based education again i repeat here art i don't mean i don't want to say that here art education means education in art i am talking about remember that arts in education how we can bring out art in everything very simple example the children come to the school in the morning very good we all have assembly period very good let them attend assembly when they go back to the class again divide the class maybe in two groups okay let them write the experience of the assembly is it not a, a written expression tell them to draw the assembly wow they'll draw the small little little kids they will think of then they will think of what all happened so it's very important see in any aspect you can connect to the art so that the child understand learning outcomes making arts the basis of all education makes active learners and improve their cognitive ability idea is that child has to think no rote learning engineers doctors fine basics can be given but ultimately let us improve their cognitive logical abilities okay the art helps in understanding thanks alice alice the art helps in understanding and internalizing content in all areas as i said all areas of curriculum art education as a curricular and art as the basis of education two aspects so the training encourages divergent thinking he will think tell him to write a poem maybe aata hoga to he will be a poet he will start writing idea is not that he should be a poet and at national level or state or national level idea is how he has started thinking how he has developed thinking that is important tap his imagination art as a subject learning art education is the experience provided by the teacher art integration learning through art develops cognitive skills learning through art as i said learning through arts okay especially english language learners art activities help them to develop practice critical life skills learning to focus remembering instructions yes you can see it is not only ki baith ke kuch karna hai but indirectly see a child is not made in a day he takes 15 years to be young and come out of the school after doing plus 2 but by the time he comes out you you just imagine when he joined in nursery or lower kg how you have slowly slowly inculcated value system and learnings to the children so this is again Uh, very very important. Just a minute. Let me just see. There is a little. Hey, one minute, please. Hey, just a minute, okay? I just see. Uh, yes. No. It enhances communication skills, language skills, and problem solving skills. It builds sensitivity to art, environmental, and social concern. Enhances artistic skills. These are the a uh, learning or thanks sharma ji these are the learning outcomes okay now moving further okay children can use alternative ways as already i said see same situation can be given for dancing acting writing speaking of content content is important how you take the content ai is an example of concept based teaching it offers a range of languages and symbol systems that provide 
alternative ways to go. See, remember, it enhances creativity. That is CAP CAP. Good evening, Pankaj Purnima. Good evening. It enhances creativity. C stands for cognitive, A for effective, and P for psychomotor domains. Okay. Now, creativity is associated with divine power. Everybody is creative. Creativity is vital for visual and performing arts, as well as entire curriculum, classroom transaction, peer group transaction, self-learning. Creativity has three P's. Person. Person can be parent or teacher. Okay. Process is adopted by the parent or the teacher. And final product is, you know, product is the child. How the, see, a school is judged the way the children walk on the road. Okay, so that is important. Now, importance and uh, benefits to create a happy classroom. See, how the child is happy. Let them be happy. Let them enjoy coming to the school. As I said, the art teacher is the most loved teacher. But again here, art doesn't mean only drawing. It taps the, see, a teacher who taps the cognitive skill of the child creates a happy classroom. Now, important benefits. Art provides language for expression. Art integrated things in learning for holistic learning and development of every child that enhances all round development. Art education helps to develop three domains, as I said, CAP cap. See, you can see a child over here in a blue cap. Okay, how his hands are colorful. Okay, it, click this picture, take it to the class, tell the children to write a story. Right, what are they thinking? What the colors are? Why the colors are? Why, what the child must have been doing? You know, so you have to keep your thinking cap on. If a teacher keeps a thinking cap on, definitely the child will think, Oh my God, what my teacher is going to talk to me today. <laughs> so that is important. It reflects the process of development, sharpens faculties of all five senses seeing, smelling, hearing, touching, tasting. See, a child sees smells the fragrance of the flower, he hears something, he touches, okay. Okay, thanks, Samsha. Encourages observation, motor activity, communicative and collaborative skill, learning by doing and constructive learning, conducive environment for exploring. See, I tell you, you also can develop, you know, uh, what to say, uh, you know, uh, collage making that develop their coordination. Games develop their coordination. Songs develop their see national anthem or you know when there is song inter school or inter house or inter class song competition or uh, you know uh, you can also have choral recitation of primary children take them to the stage they will learn how to go on the stage how to stand how to speak in unison how they should put their hands how they should express uchadan yes. So this is again an art. drawing. I keep on repeating. So this is performing art. Visual and performing both. They are visual on the stage. They are performing. They are learning. They are in a team. There is a one leader. See, uh, all these develop the children. And every child must be given stage in life. Please, please, please do this. Asa nahi hai ki take the trump cards, usko bahar bhez diya. No, 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 no. Un bachon ko stage pe lana hai, pronunciation dekhna hai, unka very correct. So, see, we have to explore the various options. Okay? Conducive environment for learning in innovative way. Innovative is a teacher's call. Okay? They develop knowledge, art form. No. Learning environment. This is, the teacher leads his students in developing the sorts of, uh, thanks Neela. Uh, uh, developing the sorts of attitudes, beliefs, and practices that would characterize really good neighborhood. Art integration classroom feel like supportive neighborhoods. Let each child cooperate with each one. Let everyone help each one. This is how they learn. No, 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 no. Keep changing the seats. Let them learn the, you know, good habits from their partners. It develops a sense of self-efficacy, a feeling that can make positive change in their own lives. And see the outcome, they are the best. You don't know, we never know. So we have to keep on changing our strategies. Okay. So all these come under the art integration, skillful. 
we have this self efficacy of skillful interpretation of situations and yes i remember already yes i spoke about very good we should keep on changing dosti bhi banti hai hame to thoda change bhi karna hai na that is there in case observation see as i said it any activity that develops observation motor activity communicative collaborative learning by doing that is experiential learning the best way example of art integration is learning by doing experiential learning it fosters a lifelong love for learning and self discovery it gives conducive environment for exploring concept into a innovative way enhances how example mathematics okay if you think of math how math can be integrated art can be integrated into mathematics think of i'll give you an example by the time you keep on thinking when i flash the slide you will say oh that is there you can do it okay proper diagram and figure ओके सुजीत आई लिव वन मोर एग्जाम्पल डायग्राम के अलावा भी बहुत सी द बॉय स्टैंडिंग फाइव टेल हिम टू मेक अ सर्कल मेक अ ट्राइंगल ओके मेक अ स्क्वायर ऑल दिस यू कैन डू सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन ट्राई बच्चे खड़े हैं लेट देम स्टैंड इन अ सर्कल आज क्या वॉट इज दिस दिस इज सर्कल डिवाइड देम इंटू टू वॉट इज दिस दिस इज हाफ डिवाइड देम इंटू फोर वॉट इज दिस वन फोर्थ okay make let them make uh, you know rectangles let them make hexagonal all the you can think of see i'm just giving few example i cannot do more than this in one hour okay every child is a born genius said albert einstein every child is talented and creative though intensity may vary they are not the vessels to be filled in but a lamp to be lit said gurudev please remember remember the you know how they are creative how they want to learn yes experiential learning is wonderful that is really art integrated learning yes activity that sarojini has put up give them activities in the classroom give them paper okay piece of paper tell them to cut into four and tell them what is this ha huh? they will say madam it is square attach into two what is this madam rectangular cut into circle or you can take a thread also ek dhaga le lijiye and you know पुट इन द सेंटर आप उसको बनाइए सर्कल आइडिया बच्चे कभी नहीं भूलेंगे ओके क्रिएटिविटी एसोसिएट डिवाइन पावर्स एंड सी आइडिया इज हाउ टू मेक द क्लासरूम इंटरेस्टिंग दे आर पुअर्स नॉट पुअर आई विल से स्वीट चिल्ड्रन दे आर इंटरेस्टेड इन एवरीथिंग दे आर परसिस्टेंट एंड आस्क लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस मेक ओरिजिनल एसोसिएशन यूजिंग इंटेलेक्चुअल आर्टिस्टिक स्किल यस yes observation very correct sujit observation is important then that is how if a child is good in music tap the creativity good in sports take him see as i please remember there are two forms visual art and performing art okay and uh, how this can be uh, you know tapped in the child that is important get pleasure out of simplest thing are not afraid of possibilities okay are not inhabited like adults hum log bahut you know in our own shell but children are very open i tell you they are incarnation of love and sincerity look into the eyes of children they blink with joy happiness okay so uh, let us tap their creativity what they can do you know creativity makes them dynamic daring resourceful hard working independent so they are creative let us tap the creativity can aise nahi hoga give him examples give him work to do let him learn for experience okay i will give you some more examples let me come across creative they are interested unusual problems as well as solutions creative their questions are their queries are you know bahut unki unki jo queries hoti hai na bahut alag hoti hai okay let us not tell them shut up and sit down no 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 let us answer their queries that will be good okay because naughtiest children ask the most uh, unexpected questions okay how creative the child is that is there thank you sanjeev now creativity art and craft craft what is craft now let me come to craft making something useful and functional weaving textiles clay pots okay excuse me i'll just discuss okay that includes these skills but art is 
um, they include all these, but goes beyond technical skills to imagination and spirituality. So art and craft, these are, in fact, if you ask me, they are connected. Creativity in classrooms. 10% of the students, what they read, 20 what they hear, 30 what they see, 50 what they hear and read, 70 what they say, 90 what they do. So this is how children learn. So here again comes experiential learning. Now, development goals. A cognitive letters tap, thinking, emotional skill, social skill, sensory. How to develop social skills? You know, social skills can be developed through emotion. Okay, how to handle, how to behave, all the you can think of and how you can integrate into subject that is again important. All four skills are necessary to become happy, healthy and a creative individual. This is very important. See, how uh, through art integration you can make them learn. Content, pedagogy, assessment. These are important. Content, kya padhana hai, pedagogy, what should be the system and then you assess. These to be aligned to Panchakosha. Panchakosha, as you know, NEP 2020 speaks of Indian ethos. Okay. Anumay Kosha. Anumay Kosha is physical development. How we can think of physical development? Pranmay Kosha, life energy that speaks of emotion. Handle the child emotionally. He is yours. He will develop, you know, his life energy bubbling with emotion, bubbling with enthusiasm. Manomai Kosha is emotional development and mental sheath. Vigyanamai Kosha, intellect. Let the child differentiate what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is not. And Anandamai Kosha is ethical development. Bliss, divinity. Child is a divine. Child is a divine self. Okay. Thank you very much, Sony Pat. Next. Now, remember, please again remember these three T's. Okay. Okay. Please transmit the knowledge, transact the knowledge and transform into a good human being. That is art integrated learning. Knowledge bhi dena hai. Allow the queries also and ultimately transform into a good human being. Okay. Myths about creativity. Some people think creativity kya hota hai? Creativity cannot be taught. Everyone can think. Myth ye hai. Myth hai. Only genius are creative. No, 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 no. Students can be trained to develop skills in creative process. Myth is children need to be good at studies to be creative. But fact is many musicians and artists are exceptionally creative but lack numerical intelligence. Think of Someone said also, Madam, uska, uska tap karna hai cognitive. Yes, you need to do that. Many innovations have been led by the school dropout. Low. Okay, aisa nahi hai ke dropouts are bad. No, they are intelligent. No. Creativity, intelligence, need vice versa. Look at it. Okay. But neither are most creative people clever than colleagues, nor are high IQ people necessarily creative. There is an emerging context, concept of multiple intelligence. Thanks, Krishna. Thanks, Ganesh. Now, this few, uh, you know, slides are very, very important. They are going to talk about the strategies. Okay. Now, here, Free time activities to display creativity. Every child to be allowed to try all activities, helping them to personal relevance, positive thinking to enhance him. learning, peer learning, environmental environment where they can go beyond and explore. I give an example of, uh, you know, uh, rainy season. You can take them in winter also. Take them to the park, take them to the mela, take them to the field, take them to Sudha Dairy. Anywhere you feel, idea is they should learn. So that daily senior students can go. I'm very happy that CBSE also has given bagless day. Can be very well utilized to develop creativity, to develop in learnings. Now, these are strategies. Teachers are very important to develop creative children. She is curious, resourceful, empathetic, accepting, thinking, inspiring, visionary. That is a creative teacher strategies you can again you can click this slide and you can tell the children what all can you see what colors can you see how to develop into story who can think of a poem i tell you keep on telling them okay that will be wonderful offering clear instructions involving them to genuine and alternate tasks 
Kindle a Jyoti, no, why uniqueness? Every child is unique. Yes, we need to tap them. We need to understand them. That is important. Let us give them time to incubate ideas. Developing mot motivation is important. Please keep on motivating children. This is important. Bring back the colors of creativity. Helping them to find personal relevance. Value their talents. This is important. Are, which period is drawing? Ka hai? Don't worry, don't worry. Dekha jaga. Arrangement is no, 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 no. Most, they don't, nobody likes arrangement period. Karo. No, these are the periods where you tap the creativity, where you develop their, you know, cognitive skill. Okay. Creating a friendly environment. Guide them to go beyond their immediate experiences, observation. This is important. Conducting small intrusive activities, music, singing, playing instruments, action songs, music has universal impact. Music that lifts our heart in one breath to heaven. Oh my God. The impact of music. Freedom to explore, experiment, achieve using colors, paper, whatever. See, these are some strategies I'm planning to give you. See, it is not the end of everything. This is just a beginning I have tried to make. Okay. Activities to be integrated into a joyful manner without emphasizing the art form. Group activities can be for um, weak children. Simplify. Music and sounds. Music is an art form whose medium is sound. We hear different types of sounds. I tell you, see, like uh, a very good example. You can take them to the, again, it is raining because this is rainy season. So that comes to my mind. Take them or you can tap one finger, two finger, three finger, four finger. This tap will be musical. This will, they will identify the sounds connected to the dendrops. I'll give you again one example. The type of sound which is pleasing to the ear has melody and rhythm of sur and ta. Okay. Dance, joy and affect all three domains. What are the three domains? Can you put in the chat box? What are the three domains? You can put first letter also. I remember if you know. Fast, fast, quickly. Who will write? Let me see. What are the three domains? What are the, what? Thank you, Janada. What are three domains? Remember, I'll remind you otherwise. I won't leave you. Mm. Okay, I'll tell you. The three domains are CAP. C-A-P, CAP. Okay. Thanks, everyone. That is CAP. Okay. Cognitive, affective, psychomotor. Yes, very good, Shashank. I must clap for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Shashank, CAP. CAP is important. Remember the CAP. Okay, and you will integrate everything. Patriotic songs, poster patriotism, yes, Sarojini cap. Emotions come from within hearing one's own country's anthem. Songs during Olympics, dance is a celebration of life. The national anthem is sung in unison all over the country. This is the magic of seven notes. An eloquent expression of emotions that we discover. That is an experience. That is wonderful. Now, meaningful learning to experience. Learning with emotion. This is again, see in small classes teachers do actions why so that they learn better learning with emotions five senses feeling and <clears throat> feeling field trips local fairs already spoke about that first hand experience on vibrant colors sounds and traditions jadvi pitara you can look into this uh, net web you can check the website and you will get various ideas that how primary students can be explored this jadvi pitara okay now Effective lesson planning, planning time, all time for AIL, instructional components and classroom. See, after the session is over, you can ask the questions. If time permits, I will answer the queries as well, okay? Resource material for art activities. Avoid silos of subjects, okay? Display that of artwork, all these can be done. See, good artwork should be displayed in the school. Let the, everybody go and appreciate. Appreciation makes a big impact. So let us appreciate the child. Let us appreciate his work. Let us appreciate his efforts, which is very, very important. Okay, collect different kinds. Yeah, you can try this for AIL. Uh, collect uh, different kinds of leaves, toys, flowers, pebbles, feathers, button. Tell them to differentiate. In, in one class cannot happen. In one class, get the leaves, get the toys, get the flowers. During summer, visit to places, sightseeing, visit to you. Idea is visit karna hai, but let them come back and explain. 
Let them come back and write. Tell them to draw, speak, visualize, think, whatever. The purpose is giving them enough time to think, imagine, explore, construct, create, express. This is art integrated learning. When you think of, when the students start thinking, imagining, exploring, construction, creating, expression. That's art integration. Playway method. Pedagogical strategies, some more strategies. Thank you, Sarul Chiyadu. A rainy day, as I told you, produce raindrop sounds with body and pretend to get wet in the rain. Let all stand and get sound while clapping with one finger, then with two fingers, three fingers, four fingers, finally five fingers. Lead them from one finger to five. Create sound of light rain to heavy rain, heavy rain to light rain. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. There, there could be anything. Next step is create raindrop sounds. Create in the class. Tell the children they will create the sound. <laughs> they will do that. Okay. Some pretend to enjoy that rain with eyes closed. It also can happen. Let them close the eyes. Let them enjoy the rain. That is again imagination. Okay. Not only rain. And they can remain the winter. They can remain the, you know, flowery season. All this. How can art be integrated? Language learning. Again. When studying feelings like being angry, scared, happy, sad, they can be given magazines. Tell them to cut a magazine and stick the photo. Or you can tell them to draw. Okay. 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 Now, thank you so much, everyone. Now, tell them to draw happy, happy emoji, sad emoji. Yes, variety of emojis. This can be asked to relate or give them, as I said, give them, you know, magazine. Tell them to look for the pics. Okay. They will do it. Give them homework. They will do that. Okay, uh, the celebrations they enjoy, yes. Depict abstract things, develop a story, experience in two lines, post an imaginary figure, classmate, emotions, like fairy tales. That is very good to tap imagination. I have, do I have time? This is 50. Well, I'll just give two, two minutes over here. I'll take once upon a time, not it's every time when a child in class, Nazi lower kg, the teachers tell them the story of fairies. And they start thinking, Pari kaisi hoti hai? Kaha rehti hai? Uske magic wand kaisi hoti hai? Okay. And when the child goes a little, he tries to get the fairy. Oh, no, there is no fairy. When he goes to 9 and 10, he realizes that my teacher was trying to tap my imagination. See, how we all are doing it? But now it is structured. Okay. No. Language may you can see, listen, speak, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Basics for competencies for English. Show pics there, let them identify. See, this is how again, this is again you can say visual art. You can show them and tell them identify. Okay. Let's you know, explore and dream. Imagine, create a story, follow new path. Tell the child, okay, you are alone in the house. Okay. There is a knock. Oh my God. Write a story. Okay. Go to the field. The house has one. Clap. Write a story. Write the event. Everything expression will make them tap their imagination. Okay. They can draw also. While work cooperatively within. They can do a group work also. The game they have, you know, uh, attended. They can put it in a group also. Okay. Sing, dance, clap differently. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, one, one. You know, all this you can plan out that how to, again, I repeat, the art integration is not only drawing, okay, this is the art in education. Why? To tap the divinity of children. Like grandparents, there some schools celebrate, okay, they also can uh, uh, have various moments, okay, just a minute. Teaching of mathematics, there's a very tough subject, people take it. It develops practical communication, learning skills, and investigating skills. Okay. This is for the middle class. Introduce, introduce them to music to understand beats, raising money and counting, puppet making, shapes, poems, recitation, ekthitli, one, two. Okay. Ashtal to gaane bhi ban jate hai, one, two, three, four, whatever. Geometrical shapes in clay, paper, cardboard, mask making, all these drawing and pasting, collage, See, some, some strategies, I can tell you, I have given just 10 to 15 percent. Rest is up to your imagination, what you can think, how you can do. Uh, let us take the example of making rangoli. I'll give you an example, rangoli. See the rangoli. Can you see rangoli here? 
put it. Ask the children the colors, whatever. Okay, we, we connect Rangoli with subjects. Mathematics with art, shapes and colors. We can talk about that. Puzzles, counting, let them start counting. EVS may through art. See how it is draw, done in a drawing way. Language through art. See all one Rangoli, one Rangoli can, you know, so many subjects can be integrated. Practical mathematics, as I said, take example of the teaching of fraction. Okay, it can be taken through a paper, how to, what is half, one third, okay. You can think of, see, I'm just giving very few examples. You have to connect, teach them fraction, joyful learning, joyful and meaningful learning. Okay. No, connect match with art, activities such as tell them the time, clock can be drawn. This is normally done, clock can be drawn or cut. Thanks, Niyas. String art and teach whole and half. Drawing and pasting, making of 2D and 3D shapes, making of model, abacus, watch, calendar, all these are examples of maths. <laughs> See, many examples, we have to think. Okay. Then, maintain a video diary throughout the year. This is for the middle and high school. Show them value-based films. Organize classroom art gallery walks by themes. Writer, leader, scientist, this is very, very important. You can talk to the principals, teachers, senior teachers and work it out. Whatever you feel. Takeaways is yours. Organize creative ceremonies for winners. Photo shoot rather than just rewards and certificate. Sign EVS, project making. Let them talk about the state. This is a wonderful example. Talk in the classroom. You also can talk to which state you belong to. I am from Bihar. I am from Punjab. I am from Gujarat. Whatever. Pick up any four states. Tell them to talk about the beauty of the state. Tell them to talk about the food of the state. Tell them to talk about the costumes of the, and the whole class will learn. This is a very, very you know, good project you can try. Can perform folk dance, can perform songs, sing a song, many more things you can plan out state-wise. In one class, they will learn four states. Then there are many states. You can, whatever possible, you can keep on trying. That will be wonderful, okay? By doing this art-based activity, they come to know about the state better. Yes. Now, art indicated learning activities can be field visit, mask making, map recording, dramatization, model making, claim modeling. See, I have just picked up a few. Family tree is very common. You can plan. Okay. Arrange a fancy dress competition. Under you can tell them, be an animal or a bird, police or a doctor, rainbow, any flower or plant, drawing, painting. By seeing them, students come to know about many concepts. You can plan out. Think of. I've just given a tip. You can further elaborate. Take a clue, move further. Tell them to speak at least two, three lines. They will do it. Teaching for science. For seniors a little. Okay. Body of scientific knowledge built up through observation, investigation, experimentation, practical activities to be strengthened. Okay. Okay, mix, this is very important. We are talking about seating plan, no? Let us have mixed group, okay? Sometimes with the classmates, sometimes, uh, you know, different interest, shuffle groups from time to time. This is important. Then they will learn better, okay? Encourage creative learning through an adaptable layout that can be easily organize. Creating learning station that you have. Learning stations makes me, okay, okay, let's go to the field today. We'll study over there. Take them to the field. Let them sit under the tree. Let them sit on the field and start teaching English. They will love that. They will love that. Okay. Idea is make the classroom learning. Now, give options, methods to demonstrate. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm running short of time. Give options in methods to demonstrate understanding. Assignment should not be limited to format, but uh, goal setting by the student. This can be for senior students. Each student, not for the primary, but for the seniors. Set time-bound goals or targets. Create plans and timeless timelines to achieve targets. This can be done for, you know, class 5 onwards, okay? Flexibility in layouts. Already I spoke about that. That you, you can keep on thinking. Podcasts, TED Talks, imparting lessons through internet, social media, not the mobiles. How to use judiciously that we need to think of, okay? Visualization, picturize something that children have never seen. Depict abstract things, 
Thank you so much, everyone. Create a new language and give a 10 line speech. Host an imaginary meeting between two historical figures. Design creative advertisement. This is very important for seniors. Let them design advertisement. See, I'm giving overall picture, you know, how it can be integrated. Other than an election campaign, social study parliya. Okay. Maintain a video diary. This only, sorry, this is repeat. Provide advanced students with stretch goals but for creativity. A goal is given, but with a complete freedom on how to achieve. Publish a book. Hey, bachcha ko bolie, kal ja likho. Bade hoge to kitab publish karna. So what? You will do it. At least there should be someone to tap them. Something creative every day for hundred days and document it. Tell the senior students, class eight, nine, eleven, twelve, whatever. Okay, something they have done. Let them, you know, place it. Let them document it. It will be a one. Just a minute. Here I want to say scribbling, uh, this I had missed out. You know, scribbling, disorder scribbling, controlled scribbling name. This makes me tell you, uh, nursery child has disordered scribbling. Class three, four child has controlled scribbling. And when he goes to class six, seven, he has a disorder, uh, you know, named scribbling. The child makes random marks. He's not attempting to draw something. He's just enjoying. This is important, he enjoys. Okay. Control scribbling. A motor skull improves. The child gains control, begins to see relationship between her arms, motions, and the marks she makes. Able to draw circles and maybe geometrical shapes. Lines may be repeated with a great deal. This is control. And final it is named when the child goes to senior club. He starts naming the scribbling. Okay. He scribbles many. See, man recognizable to the adult, but they have meaning. The child spends more time scribbling. Scribbling is not a bad idea. Scribbling is keep on writing whatever comes to your mind. Then put in organized thoughts. Is it not learning? Is it not learning? It's learning. I'll just show you just a very short video. Please watch that. Thank you so much. See, the creative child. <laughs> I did like this. Okay. Now here, the colors. As the scribbling, so are the colors. Colors play a subordinate role in scribbling. The child scribbles for the pleasure of moving the crayon. You can see the child, how he moved his hands. Research shows that children use color in a sequential order. There is no emotional reason behind the choice of a color. A literal relationship between color and object. Okay. Sometimes emotional, sometimes mechanical. Children raised in visually enriched atmosphere develop faster. Interaction between a child and the environment to be increased. A study found that children who were easily distracted had parents who offered ready-made solutions. That speaks of no rote learning memory. Thank you, Nagendra. A teacher can provide alternate suggestions. Direct relationship between child scribbles and relates to. If it seems to be repeating, it is a sign of low confidence. So this also we should keep a check. Is he repeating? Is he making something different? Impediment. There are some impediment. These are you know global environment uh, is a big catch. Okay, decline in. Just what is your time here? Yeah. I'm just two minutes more. I'll take. Young generation is vibrant but insecure. So social environment also affects the children because when the substance something they think, oh, society is not helping me, whatever it is. So social environment has a deep impact. Present school scenarios also 
okay, for meeting we are not utilized. Sorry to say that we all teachers, you know, we believe in rote learning. So let us change our teaching methodology. That is very, very important, okay. Divergent thinking is neglected. That is, that should not happen. Barriers. If teachers are unwilling to grow, then we cannot do that. So let us um, not be the barrier. Let us be the change makers. Teachers are the change makers. Okay. Some parents say, school me kya ho ra? Are jo ho ra, bacho ke liye kar rahe hai na? What matters most is clarity and conviction of the teacher and head of the school. This is a matter of dialogue. Parents can support if they understand. Okay. Be sensitive to linguistic, cultural and uh, socio uh, the economic diversity of learners, addressing time and space constraints, training of teachers and need for this is already been the process. Here is our role, our responsibility. We must love students. Okay, classrooms to have an atmosphere of freedom and positivity. Teachers need to refrain from spoon feeding. Yes, thanks, William. Variety of activities practice for divergent thinking. Activities should promote experiment experimental learning. Teachers to use technology and uh, apps. Okay. Then uh, discipline to be non threatening and non judgmental. No punishment. No punishment. Reward should be used with great sensitivity as instinct motivation is more important for creativity. Teachers to be trained in the stage of creative process. These are the processes inspiration, clarification, distillation, perspiration, evaluation, incubation. This is for us. Okay. This is for us. Let us have supporting ecosystem. Like a parent, you can see here, he is doing the pot. We are all the potters. We should provide opportunities for visits to various uh, places. School should encourage R&D. No, a five-step learning is Aditi, address, abhyas, prayog, prasad. This also we should, uh, yeah, they must think freely. Assessment tools and processes to be designed. Thank you, Divanji. Create positive assessment environment for measuring competencies. We should measure the competencies. Humne jo padhaya, kitna sikha. Thanks, Izhar. Assessment to be seen as a continuous process and explore learning. Some techniques I'm giving you. I'm learning short of time, so I'm just going a little fast. Appropriate methods, observation, use checklist, involve three domains, CAP cap. Never forget CAP cap. Okay, I will be clear. Conclusion. I'll show this video just a minute. You're the leader. It's on you. You didn't pick leadership. It picked you. You're called for this. Break out of your shell. You have what it takes. You were born with it. It's in you. A seed. Water it. Embrace it. Invest in your success. Study leadership. Read books, watch videos, listen to podcasts, create your leadership brand, then live that brand every day. Make a massively positive impact on your team. Love your team. Pour into your team. Lead them. They don't want a manager. They want a leader, a heroic figure, a role model. Be that. Build a championship team. See the potential in every person. Pull it out of them. Coach them inspire them, teach them, demand excellence from them, and all along the way, be the example. You set the tone. You cast the vision. You bring the attitude, effort, and energy. So start moving. No regrets. They will follow you. Make the culture your number one priority. It's your performance environment. It's what provides the energy and passion needed to fulfill your plan and achieve your mission and make your vision a reality. If you invest in the culture, the performance will follow. Championship leaders build championship teams that drive championship performance. Focus on the culture and execution of your team in order to capture the dream. You're the lead. So, you are the leader. Please remember, divinity is not to be given. That thou art. Every child is a divine and everyone is divine. With this, I stop my session here. I've taken a little extra time, but thank you so much for uh, bearing with me. Thank you so much. Okay.
and uh, any question you can ask me otherwise i must say thank you everyone for joining me for the session although i took a little time but uh, you remained with me i did like it thank you so much i must thank uh, sahodya patna sahodya jamshedpur madam suboshri and everyone associated thank you so much any question thanks for given even i am very happy i am thankful to you all that you stayed although i took 8 minutes extra but uh, you stayed with me that's very nice <sighs> okay I must. If no question, then I take leave. Okay. Once again, thank you, Saudia Patna. Thank you, Saudia Jamshedpur. Thank you, Subhashri Madam. Thank you, Rajiv Sir, and all associated. Thank you so much. Hari Om. Let me see. We meet again. Okay. No question. Okay. So this is time for me. <laughs> okay. Thank you.